Charlie Cooper. Man, she's pretty. We'll get to her later though. All right, so we're here at Walmart. You may be wondering you may be wondering why I'm at Walmart. I'm at Walmart because I officially start prep today. I know it's crazy, I know it came out of nowhere, but hey, um, we took a week off from YouTube, um, didn't record anything, didn't upload anything, and I wanted to get my mind right. I wanted to enjoy all the foods. I definitely enjoyed a lot of foods uh, this week. You guys, you guys will see that when we get home today. We're at Walmart today because I realized that one, my weight scale at home doesn't have. <laughs> Shit, she's sexy. So I, re I realized my weight scale at home doesn't have batteries or didn't have batteries this morning when I try to weigh myself. I haven't eaten anything, so I'm trying to keep my weigh in pretty fresh. Um, and I also realized that I don't have a food scale. I left my food scale in Vegas for my last show last year. So I haven't had a food scale in over a year. So we're gonna fix that today. Good to be quick. Alright, all right, so we were told that we're not allowed to film on Walmart property. This lady literally pulled up in SWAT style, honked super loud, pulled up in a black pickup truck, like cut me and Sam off. He's like, y'all are not you're not allowed to film on Walmart property. And I was just like startled. I was very scared because <laughs> she put up on us like we were she was in the SWAT team. And like committed like a serious crime. So I'm gonna be really quick. Here's my skill. Let's go back home. All right guys, so for the first official weigh-in of this prep, I feel kind of weird. I feel I feel weird. I feel feel kind of bad about just kind of throwing this prep on you guys. Today's February 10th. Um, I'm actually gonna be doing a show. I'm aiming to do a show in Chicago, which is about 18 weeks out from today. So we're starting this prep a little, or, oh, well, I guess last year I did 18 weeks, 18 to, tw 18 to 20 weeks last year. But we're starting this week out, we're starting this prep out, 18 weeks out, and I'm gonna give y'all a raw, official weigh-in in the morning. Um, no food, I have my breakfast over there. I haven't eaten yet, but here we go. Jesus, oh shit. 217.8. So usually after a full day of eating, it's actually pretty light. I didn't really eat that much yesterday. Well, I did, but I kind of didn't. <laughs> and I'm usually like around 220 to 223 pounds, but I mean, hey, the way I look, You'd, it'd, be, it'd be hard to believe that I'm 217. So I'm gonna give you all a raw physique update. I know, nothing impressive, but hey, we all gotta start somewhere. So we have 217.8 as of this morning. Um, pretty flat, haven't worked out. Abs have somewhat disappeared. They've definitely disappeared. Um, like I said, I've said this multiple times if you've been following me for a long time, I hold majority of my fat right here. like all right here so like from the front i might look okay i might look okay beach beach ready somewhat beach ready but when i turn around when i turn around it's just like straight flag right here so this is all relative though um but yeah 217 pounds i'm feeling fluffy um i kind of just had like this uh revelation yesterday i was just like looked at myself in the mirror and i was just like wow i need guidance i need to start prep I need to get back. I need to get back on my shit. I need to. I need to really, really get get back to where I want to be. And uh, I feel like I've enjoyed. So come over here. I feel like I've enjoyed the off season. So <laughs> to celebrate the last day of the off season yesterday, <laughs> I indulged in brownies. I'm gonna offer this to Sam after we're done. I indulged in some brownies. These are so fucking good, man. Some brownies and some like dipped. Dipped very high calorie <laughs> cookies. Red velvet, we have a brownie, uh, 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 a brownie cookie. There was about six cookies in here and like 10 brownies and I made like probably like 60% of it last night. So I'm gonna offer it to Sam and throw it away. Last night was the last hoorah. I kind of ate all this shit and I was just like looking at myself in the mirror. I was like, all right, Charlie, you gotta stop. This is getting disgusting.
All right, guys, so first meal of this prep, we're actually starting really, really high when it comes to macros um, in comparison to my previous preps. Um, we're actually 18 weeks out. June 13th is the day for the show. So today is February 10th, so we have some time to work with. So I'm starting today at 70 grams of fat, 370 grams of carbs, and 220 grams of protein. First meal of the day, since I have so much room to play with, we're gonna do two servings. Two servings of the cinnamon oat uh, Kodiak cakes. Man, it feels good to be back. It feels good to be like, I feel like my vlogs, I'm going off on a tangent right now. <laughs> I feel like my vlogs up until this point have been kind of like just forced vlogs where I'm not really offering any informational content. Like now I'm just like back in my bag, back in my element. Man, I just feel good. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Two servings of this uh, this morning, three, three grams of fat. 62 grams of carbs and 28 grams of protein. I still got it, baby. So we're gonna do, for those of y'all who are new to the channel and never fucking tracked a macro in your entire life, I'm gonna show you how to do that shit. So you set that shit to zero. Um, the serving here is 53 grams. So I'm gonna stop at 106. And I come over here and do a sprinkle of water. Actually, a fair amount of water. <laughs> and get my mixer. Today I'm feeling pancakes. Let that warm up. I'm feeling pancakes today. Mix this up. If you really look closely, the cinnamon oat, like there's actually cinnamon oats in there, which makes this just like unbelievably good. Unbelievably good. Make sense of it. Thinking maybe I'm insensitive. Off the top with a penmanship. Full time rapper, it's a membership. And if your bars ain't hitting and your lady ain't with it, there's no need to pretend you. Man, if y'all haven't heard this new Brent Fires, y'all are tripping. Good album or good EP. You should definitely check it out. But first meal of the day, it took me a long time to make this because I haven't really cooked in a very, very long time. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I mean, a lot of Snap Kitchen, which is still very healthy, macro friendly. But I haven't cooked a home cooked meal in a, in a while, so it was kind of I was kind of rusty. I was pretty rusty this morning. But the first meal of the day, we have two servings of the cinnamon oat pancakes. I actually ate a pancake while I was cooking because I was so hungry. We have a half a cup of egg whites. We have two strips of bacon, lower sodium. That's why they look so scanty and 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 sad. And then we also have, since I have 370 carbs to play with, I'm throwing in these sweet Hawaiian. Everyone loves Hawaiian bread. I'm throwing in these sweet Hawaiian slider breads. And I'm gonna make like a little egg uh, bacon sandwich with one of the bacon strips and like some egg whites. Um, this meal right here is 610 calories. Pretty pretty good meal to start the day out with. 80 grams of carbs, 47 grams of uh, protein, and 12 grams of fat. I have not used my fitness pal in so long. Like, it feels weird, but it feels good. I'm, I'm happy to be back, man. <laughs> Look at the money I'm raising. Today's objective is to get enough. I have a lot of energy right now, so I don't feel like I need a lot of energy. But, common carrot. Maybe I'll just take this just in case. Maybe I'll take this for free workout. Um, these combined have about 59 grams of carbs. And since I have 370 carbs to play with, Comfortably gonna be able to eat this or consume this. I'm also gonna get some lunch for after. Uh, credit on there. You want to leave that on there? Yeah. Okay. The total's gonna be 27.45. Go ahead and insert your card for me, please. Boys, looking fresh. This is the deal. This is good. Oh shit. Good. Yeah. There you go, man. Good. Good. How are you? Yeah, good. Cool. I was just telling my channel about how like you. Well, I haven't told him yet, but his son. <laughs> has a shoe cleaning business that he just started yep. in Houston and he's cleaning. I saw him cleaning some shoes on Instagram the other day and I was like, damn, he brought those shoes back to life. And I was like, man, I have a couple of shoes in my collection that really need some restoring for hence. These Travis Scott's are like damn near dead. I want those, man. Eh? Huh? I want those shoes. You want them? I want them. Uh, I'll sell them to you for 2000 yeah, no, they're like 1400 Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. You know that guy? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't even know if he knew. It's crazy, man. You catch everything on YouTube, man. It's like a reality TV show. But, uh, 
Yeah, so his son is going to transform these from raggedy old used to like pretty much spanking brand new. Yep. So you can tell him a little bit more about it. Yeah, so uh, you can check out my son. His name's Jaden. Uh, he's in middle school, seventh grade. You can check out his IG. It's official shoe cleaner. Um, he has a logo. It's like, uh, it's actually these right here. That's his logo, I believe. Okay. They're Air Jordan 1s. I believe it's the, the shattered backwards. I'm not okay. sure. But yeah, check him out on IG. He's he's here in Sugarland. We He charges $10 a shoe so or $10 a pair. So. He could restore them, get them back to brand new, get you looking right. I think it's so dope that he's only in seventh grade and he's doing that. That just shows that like he are, he's going to be an entrepreneur. Dude, he's, he's follow, going. following you guys. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. I, I wish I was like that. In seventh grade, I was doing some other stuff, but we're not talking about that right now. <laughs> All right, so we finally made it to the gym. We're here at Alpha Land. Oops, I'm in Alpha World. Oops, I mean Alpha Lead Gym here at Sugarland. I think you guys are you guys are ready for that Alpha Land, but. So I'm actually starting this prep off with two cardio sessions per week. So I'm currently at 370 carbs, 70 fat, 220 grams of protein, and I'm doing two less, ses two less cardio sessions per week. So each session is gonna be 20 minutes. Um, I have some time to kill before Brandon gets here. We're gonna work out today together today. We're gonna train hard together today. So I'm gonna kill those 20 minutes while I do cardio. Let's get it. Alright, so just got back home from the gym. I to show you all my post-workout meal. We have the grass-fed grass-fed beef taco hash from Snap Kitchen. And the cool thing about Snap Kitchen is that I can easily, since I'm tracking now, scan that, pulls up, 56 grams of carbs, 18 grams of fat, 27 grams of protein, puts it in. I'm at 1,350 calories for the day. Um, macros, 31 fat, 195 carbs. Uh, 81 protein, so I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot of fats to hit. And I'm also gonna have a scoop of greens since I didn't really have my greens this morning. I mean, I had the clean energy, energy drink, but I feel like I feel a lot better when I know that I've had a full scoop of this. This is the vegan uh, greens and reds, superfoods from One of Nutrition's. One, of the, one scoop of these, one scoop of this a day keeps the doctor away. You gotta show me you ain't talking money, then you talking cheap. We a pack of wolves and we gotta eat. Yeah. Feel brand new, brand new. Feel brand new, feel brand new. Me and my crew, my crew. Feel brand new, feel brand new, brand new. Tell me feel brand new, brand new. Feel brand new, feel brand new, brand new. Me and my crew. All we ever do is stun her up. Alright, so you're probably wondering, Charlie, it looks like you just got the same exact car that you had last time. What changed? I did not get the same exact car that I had. Um, I actually got a brand new uh, car. Um, this is the newest model of the Range Rover, the big body. Um, a lot of people confuse this for the Sport, but it's not, what the fuck? But it's not, it is actually the Range Rover, um, just the bigger the bigger, the bigger, bigger version. It's the same uh, model as my um, previous car, but it's the newest model. Uh, the newest make or model I don't know what I'm saying but um, pretty much my last vehicle um, was a 2014 Range Rover supercharged fully loaded just like this one um, but it had <laughs> y'all aren't gonna believe this because the car looked amazing it was nearing 100k miles and the engine light came on and I just kind of felt like that was just kind of like a sign one, the car is like realistically seven years, eight years old, seven to eight years old, um, depending on when it was made. And um, 
I kind of just felt like it was a sign um, that all the shocks for all the four tires were completely out to where like I, I, I couldn't even drive without like filling bumps everywhere I went and I was like I'm not gonna put a shit ton of money into a 2014 vehicle that's out of warranty it was completely out of warranty obviously and uh, I kind of just felt like I mean worked so hard the last year or so with everything that we accomplished in Naka and everything that I've accomplished in the last year and I was like you know what what's 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 wrong with uh, rewarding myself with an upgrade so I got a really good deal uh, the funny thing about this car the coolest thing about this car is that Hanny Empire Designs the guy that designed my office designed Heidi's office is designing Alpha Land right now he actually owned this car and sold this car to a dealership here in Houston a week prior to when I bought this vehicle it's pretty fucking crazy but um it's a small world but uh I feel I feel very comfortable um driving this car knowing that it was owned by Hanny because Hanny is a very bougie motherfucker <laughs> and uh, he keeps everything in, in mint condition so this car came in mint condition um fully loaded I mean you guys saw the features in the video um a huge upgraded interior for my previous vehicle and then like the fine finishes on the outside the exterior uh there's upgrades from the, the previous model to this model it just kind of looks more futuristic more elegant more luxurious um a range rover has kind of been my dream car in my entire life uh so to be able to actually purchase one uh, a newest model at that has been kind of surreal over the last couple of days it's not surreal to the point where like I can't believe I did this. I shouldn't have done it. It's surreal to the point where like I've reached a point in my life where I can do things like this. And I'm not saying that just to brag, um, but we can actually roll the clip back. I feel like we should do this. We can roll the clip back. I don't know how we got it to turn on and actually get on the thing, but he did it. No, he didn't, bro. He just uh, he pulled it up. Yeah, he got the rope. Well, he got the uh, the hook. That guy's really chill. Like he's like. <laughs> I had a Tahoe that would break down on me, literally. I mean, everyone made fun of me at Alphalete because I drove this thing. It was a piece of crap. A big, bulky, I think it was like an ex-police car. A big, bulky Tahoe with no back seats. It just had two front seats. And uh, it broke down on me every single, like, three or four days. Parents would always make fun of me. And uh, to, to go from that to this today and... It's, it's kind of surreal um, if you would have I'm not I don't like to put a lot of uh, I'm not saying the the value of success or the measure of success is buying materialistic things but um, to get to a point where you're able to afford and do things like this is it's still in my in my in my view is it's still an accomplishment so um, like I said when I graduated high school, or when I even just started doing this shit, this YouTube and all this stuff that I've been doing, I didn't really think I would ever be able to do something like this. So um, it's crazy. It's really crazy. You kind of, I kind of just looked at Christian and and I was like, damn man, like I'll never get to that level. But it's cool to have friends that can kind of do buy nice things and do nice things for themselves. So I mean, it's it's pretty surreal to be where I'm at today, and I'm just getting started. So um, yeah, that was the reason I got I did the car. All right, so if you're watching this video, you've probably seen the title, apart from the clickbait title that I did. Um, you've probably seen the title, and you're probably wondering, oh shit. Um, well, I guess I've talked about this multiple times in this video about how I'm starting prep. Yes, prep is officially started. Today was officially the first day of prep, but I am not starting the series today. So episode one of the series will actually be the next video. The next video that will be coming out this week, probably Friday, maybe Thursday. Be on the lookout for that. I know I'm, hey. I know I've promised uh, two videos a week in a, for like the last two weeks, and I haven't I haven't delivered. So this Friday um, there'll be an episode one where we'll kind of deep more I guess deep dive more into this prep and what's to come from this prep. Um, today was kind of just me getting my feet wet, getting back into this, the groove of things. I bought a scale, I bought batteries for my weight scale. Um, we even got an air fryer. Check that out. We got an air fryer. Casey swears that it can help with this prep, at least earlier in this prep to where I can like still eat good food and uh, for like half or less than half the calories. Um, so I'm pretty excited to try that out. But uh, the plan is right now is to work and compete in the Chicago Junior National Show uh, June 13th. Um, 
those are my plans as of right now. I'm not gonna elaborate on anything else because my goal right now is to get in top shape for that show. Um, as of today, we're officially 18 weeks out from that show. Um, I'm starting a little bit more fluffy than I started last year. Um, so it's it's good that we're starting out this far. Um, 18 weeks is a pretty good time to, to prep for sure. And uh, I'm excited, man. I was telling everyone today that I talked to about it because everyone was kind of shocked by my posts and my tweets and all that stuff. And I was just telling them like, man, like when you've been doing it for so long, I think this is gonna be like my eighth or ninth diet. I'm not really sure. When you've been doing it for so long, you kind of look forward to it every year, every summer, because it's 18 weeks where you literally have uh, straight up just like a schedule. Like you're in routine, you have a solid routine, you're eating pretty fucking healthy, you're you're working out every single day, you're, you're pushing your body to the limit, you're doing cardio. It's a good feeling every single, I remember just feeling really good when I went to bed. Even though I was fucking tired, exhausted, up until like four weeks out, I really felt like accomplished going to bed. So I know it's a really crazy way to look at it. You have to be pretty psychotic to look at it this way, but I mean, that's why I've done it for like eight, eight or nine times. So um, I'm excited. It's gonna be a good, 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 good year. And uh, I'm feeling really good about this year. I'm feeling really, really good about this year. So here's what I want you guys to do. I need help deciding on a series name. So if you guys have a series name, we were thinking about going with the marathon again, I love that title. Um, I still apply that to my daily life. Um, I don't try. I try not to look at things as like a race to see how fast I can get to a certain point in my life. I kind of just look at things as a marathon and just make sure that I'm, I'm putting in 110 100% work each and every single day. And I know that eventually it'll pay off. That's how everything in my life is has kind of just moved around. So I wouldn't mind making that the series title for this one again. But if you guys have any any dope suggestions that I see in the comment box below, I may take you guys up on those. I may, and I'll give you credit too. So there are some good suggestions down there. I'm sorry this video was kind of short, but I promise you the next one's gonna be fucking epic. Tons of stuff coming up. Tons of stuff coming in 2020. We have Alpha Land. We have Anaka moving into Alpha Land. We have the new gym that's coming up. Uh, we have this prep. I'm competing in a new city. Uh, I'm starting a little bit. I think this is like a longer prep than I did last year by two weeks. So there's a lot more content coming. Um, we have a collab for we have bunches of bunches of collabs for Anaka. We have new dope gear, backpacks, accessories dropping for Anaka. It's going to be a very very well-rounded series that involves business, fitness, personal struggle relationships, friendships, new friendships, new buildings, new all that stuff, new investments. It's gonna be a good one, man. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I love all you guys. I'll see you on the next one.